What's up YouTube, Brian here, back again with another video. Today we got a fun one because, as we all know, the Bassmaster Classic is right around the corner. And a lot of companies, big to small, like to save their product announcements for the Bassmaster Classic because there's a lot of foot traffic, there's a lot of media coverage, and they can try to make a big splash in front of the fishing industry by kind of sitting on products that they've already developed and have stocked and are ready to go, um, but they wait for the Classic to kind of, you know, uh, unveil the curtain, right? Well, what happens is a lot of people in the fishing industry, you know, tackle shops, distribut distributors, um, a lot of the smaller mom and pop shots, sometimes uh, some of them aren't so great at sitting on their information. They accidentally post things to their website. Maybe they have like something scheduled or they're just updating their new product pages and they got all this new stuff, they just throw it up there. And then uh, every once in a while, a leak happens. Um, and most of the time they're completely unintentional. So I'm not gonna throw any tackle shops under the bus because a lot of them, they post the stuff, people notice, screenshots get taken, everything gets spread around, and then the tackle shop goes, oops, and they shut it down, and hopefully they don't upset the, you know, the Shimano and the Daiwa overlords for um, accidentally stepping on their touchdown call when they wanna debut this stuff at the Classic. Well, that's what I'm doing. <laughs> so this information is not new, this is out on Instagram. I'm not the one who found this, uh, people informed me about it, and then I propagated it, so. I am not in the fishing industry. I don't have any NDAs with any companies. I don't work for any of these companies. So I can say whatever I want. Um, so we are going to leak out the information on a very interesting new rod line that Daiwa has unearthed and brought back from the dead. And that is the Zillion Daiwa casting and uh, spinning rod line. So what I have is I have some screenshots, I have some model information, and I know the pricing. So what we are going to do now is we're gonna jump on over to uh, my laptop. So these are the screen grabs that happened. Um, like I said, I'm not going to throw any shops under the bus. I'm sure this is completely accidental. It's, you know, it is what it is. The information's out there. So we're going to talk about it because it's YouTube and it's fun. So uh, we're going to jump over to my computer. So what we got here is they are bringing back the Daiwa Zillion line and the MSRP price point is going to be $329, so $330. So it's gonna be a little more expensive than say a Shimano X-Pride. Um, it's gonna be slightly less expensive than their BLX line. So I don't know, or yeah, I don't know if the black label line in the US is gonna go away and this is gonna replace it. And it also is cheaper obviously than the Daiwa Steez. So as we can see right off the rip, these rods are very, 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 very similar to what an X-Pride looks like. I mean, you kind of squint, you see a Shimano X-Pride, at least to me, uh, maybe in hand it'll be different. But as you can see, we got silver accents just like on the X-Pride. We got a monocoque handle just like on the X-Pride. Um, in the copy, uh, we'll jump over. In the copy of these rods, I've noticed that they do mention the SVF Nano Plus technology in the blank which leads me to believe that these rods are probably pretty similar material-wise to a Steez AGS rod, but without the AGS guide. So I'm guessing they have some kind of Fuji guide on these things. It mentions uh, Fuji K guides. So I'm assuming that this is gonna be like a Daiwa Zillion, I'm sorry, Di like the Daiwa Steez is, but without AGS, and obviously instead of all the red accents, it's gonna be um, black and silver, which is you know very similar to the Shimano X-Pride. So, um, let's talk about models real quick because this is what was interesting is the uh, the people who leaked this by accident actually did put up all the models that were going to be available on the uh, on the onset. Now you old school Daiwa nerds, you're going to recognize a letter in this thing, uh, the letter R. So um, let's look at a couple models. So what's interesting is you see this thing that says 72 medium F, so that's probably 72 medium fast. Uh, 72 heavy fast. So a couple of things I, that jumped out to me looking at this product line is the R. So in the Daiwa world, if we go back to the old school uh, zillions, so I pulled this up. So the old school zillions, I actually had one of these. These were awesome rods. These came out I don't know, many, many years ago. These were very popular rods for a long time. Um, under the action section on Daiwa's site, they always had the, it was either fast, extra fast, or R. And in Daiwa terms, R was regular. So in other words, moderate. So they were rods designed for moving bait. So whether it was cranking, whether, I mean, uh, I'm guessing some of these are gonna be graphite. I don't know if any of these are gonna be glass, no idea. But um, yeah, so R meant regular. So extra parabolic bend, more moderate action, more for moving baits, swim jigs, crank baits, spinner baits, chatter baits, all that kind of stuff. So if you notice in some of these models, like there's a, sec, a 610 medium heavy R, uh, there is a 7.3 heavy R, potentially a swim bait rod or something like that. Uh, maybe a frog rod, potentially. Uh, there's a 7.6 heavy. I did notice that there's a little overlap between the Steez AGS model. So it looks like the utility player is here. Um, 
then also this is the big one i want to talk about is the 7.5 medium heavy heavy the bottom contact too it looks like the bottom contact is going to have a slightly cheaper version here in the zillion at 330 bucks so they did bring over a couple ags steez ags models it appears to be to me at least so it looks like there's three models here that are you know overlap with the um, steezes and then there's some new stuff or so, you know bringing back some of the old hits with the old zillions um let's take a peek at the spinning so in spinning world, we got another rod that looks a lot like a Shimano x Bride. So you got the monocoque handle, um, very similar looking grip, uh, and obviously a lot of silver accents. Um, looks really nice. Uh, I have a feeling these things are going to be very, very impressive in the hand. Um, they are going to be a little more expensive than the Shimano x Bride, but, you know, is it going to be 50 bucks better than the Shimano x Bride? I guess that remains to be seen. Um, another thing to notice is there's no overlap with the Steez AGS models and the uh, Zillion spinning. So you got some totally different models because all the, the Steez AGS spinning models are 7.1. And in here we got a 7.0. So we have a 7 foot medium light regular. So that's an interesting rod. Maybe that's for kind of the hover strolling crowd. Or maybe even the 6.8 medium is for the hover, stro hover strolling crowd. I don't know, throwing small crankbaits, things like this. It looks like they're kind of getting mega bassy with some of these um, regular moderate action spinning rods. But then you got your classics. You have your 610 medium light, which is your, probably your drop shot rod. This one is interesting though, seven foot three medium fast. So their main seven foot medium rod looks to be a seven three, which I think that is gonna be a really popular rod. I think seven one to seven three mediums are very, very popular nowadays, especially for you know the Ned Rig crowd and the paddle tail swim bait crowd, the wacky Senko crowd, all those kind of people love a little bit of a longer seven foot medium. So. Um, yeah, so this is the rods that we know about. Uh, there might be more models. Um, I grabbed what I could uh, off the screenshots, but yeah. So the Zillion is back. Dai was bringing out a you know medium to higher end price point rod. I don't know when these are gonna be available. I don't know when dealers are getting these. Maybe they already have them. Maybe it'll be a pretty quick launch after the classic. But I would assume that Daiwa is going to be showing off these rods and doing a bunch of marketing for the New Zillion reboot. Also, keep in mind, they're not the only ones rebooting rod lines this year. Well, I, this is not this is a line that's been dead for a long time. So I would say this is being brought back from the dead. But uh, everyone is starting to notice that the GLXs are all going on sale from G Loomis. So it appears to me that uh, G Loomis has uh, got a GLX reboot coming. Whether that's going to be available this summer or not, I don't know. I haven't seen any pictures. Um, I do not have any leak information about the GLXs quite yet. I will try to get it. Um, and if I do get some GLX information, I will absolutely make a video. But anyway, I want to throw this video out to y'all. So if you know, uh, or if you're a big Dio fanboy and you used to love the old Zillions, be happy because they're bringing them back. And if you want a rod that's a little more um, premium than, say, the Dio Tattoo Elites or the Rebellions, now you're going to have something that slots in between that price range and the much more expensive uh, Steez AGS rod. So I think it's pretty cool, Dio, to add some more options in the different price points. I'm really excited to see these in person. I'm probably going to end up grabbing one at some point just to test it and play with it. But uh, yeah, zillions are back, baby. Uh, buckle up. Keep an eye on all the Dio announcements. Uh, I'm sure they're going to post some cool videos and, and stuff about it. And then, you know, I'm sure these things are going to be at the Classic if you are able to attend the classic. You should definitely go and check these things out, get them in your hands. Um, let me know what you think. So anyway, I just want to throw out this kind of emergency video of a new product that got leaked. And I think most people who watch my channel are probably going to be pretty excited about. So uh, yeah, F pay attention to my Instagram. If I do get any cool product leaks or anything uh, interesting coming out the Bassmaster Classic, I always talk about it on my Instagram uh, in my stories and whatnot. So give me a follow there. And until next time, everybody, we'll see you again soon. Thank you for watching and adios.